Hello you guys. This week is an exciting one. This is week two in the new house um, and we are continuing to unpack. So hope you're excited about all the unpacking to come. Um, I've done a really good job in my makeup room. Okay, it looks really chaotic, but the before was terrifying. Tonight we are going to CP2. I wanted to go to CB2 anyways because there's some furniture things that I've had my eye on and I love like their glasses and little knickknack decor stuff so I wanted to check that out but I originally wanted this West Elm dresser and it is back ordered until May which truly is not that bad because a lot of things are kind of pushed back until June July right now so not terrible but I did find another dresser that I really like at CB2 so we're going to the store to check it out in person. It says they don't have the exact dresser that I was eyeballing, but they have something from the same collection. So I can see, you know, the texture and what it would look like kind of, because it does look like it has a little bit of texture on it or like some sort of pattern. So I want to see before I ordered it, of course. But if all goes well, it is in stock right now. So I could have it in here by the end of the week which would be really amazing and it would fit like right along this wall and fit my makeup which is just what i need right now so hopefully that goes well there are um, a few other furniture things that we want from cb2 that we're kind of waiting because again super expensive there um and we also don't have like all of downstairs packed like one thing is a uh, dining room table i have wanted this like wooden round dining room table from cb2 for so long so that is one thing that once like everything's kind of cleared out i will be purchasing and we did find some really cute like counter stools so um i don't think either one of those are displayed at the store but We'll see tonight, I'm very excited. There are a few things I love more than home shopping and it has been really cool to kind of sh furniture shop because a lot of my furniture I've had since I moved out. So it's really, really fun, exciting, very adult, I feel. Okay, my hair is weird right now, sorry. But I think that I just got my mirror for this office space area, this wall in particular. Oh my god, I'm like out of breath carrying this upstairs. This came all the way from Turkey. Turkey! Wait, this, the person was from Turkey? Like, that's yeah. the person? Holy crud. Yeah. Thank you. It's a custom <laughs> okay. Okay, squiggle. Careful. Okay, it's upside down, obviously. Custom swiggle. There's my legs. Proud of it. I'm excited. Cute, right? Yeah, I like that. Yay! Wait, I want him to dab me up on camera. Come here. Come on, dab me up. Oh god, he attacked me. He's just cozy OOTD. You think I can wear this to CB2? Why not? I think so. Okay. I ordered these crates from Hey, and I will link the website, but they're like um collapsible crates so this will fold down really tiny but i got the lilac one i bought three of them i bought two small ones these were like six bucks each and they're cool because they're collapsible so hold on so they like fold down Um, these have been really popular. I see them on TikTok a lot, like that Nordic uh, interior design style. So I have been wanting these for a while. I didn't realize how inexpensive they were because these were 60. I think I only spent like 30 bucks total. I just think they're so cute. So I'm going to put makeup or skincare or something in these. I kind of want to put this one in my bathroom and then maybe this one in the guest bathroom or maybe my makeup room, I don't know. And then my plan is to get a shelving unit for this back wall. Um, it's kind of random right now. And display like my record player and then vinyls like on the shelves with some cute candles and decor and stuff. But right now this is what we got. A penny board, a plant, and a mirror. What else do you need? Let's see what Hugo's doing. What's happening in here? I'm organizing my Pokemon. Stop, that's funny. Yeah. 
They're very organized. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna show off my slides. Very nice. And yeah. More to come later. <laughs> my delicate little flower. She just pushed me to the floor. She's a sweetie. <laughs> She's attacking me. <laughs> Yay, Spinny! You get him. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we found it at CB2, but not really. No, it not says that <laughs> it says that it was on display, um, but we could not find it. We circled the store a few times, so finally we asked someone. We were like, "Hey, it says it's on display, but we can't find it." So he went to the back. He was gone for so long. I feel so so bad. And what they did have is the small nightstand, not the full-on dresser. So he pulled it out from the back, like wheeled it in. Oh my god. Um, but the issue is he couldn't take it out of the box. So the only thing we could see is just the top of the nightstand and like see the texture and color. Um, we touched it. We touched it. <laughs> um, but we could not see like the handles. I was really interested in the handles and like the bottom legs because it's like a gold, I don't know, I wanted to see the gold to see what kind it is, because you know like sometimes it's really brassy and then sometimes it's really yellow, I don't know. So we didn't get to see that, but I did really like the texture. So I think I'm gonna order it, you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm stressed. They did have a bunch of other <laughs> dressers that I've been eyeballing from their site on display. Am I in focus? So I got to see the other dressers too and kind of compare, but I think we found her. This dresser kind of has like a little bit of gold in the texture on it. It's kind of like, almost felt like wallpaper, didn't it? Yeah, so kind of. Kind of, I don't know how to explain it. Um, but it had like gold and cream and I just felt like it would be a really good vibe for the stuff that I already have in the makeup room and be like a nice luxury piece that I could easily grow with. Like let's say a few years I want something else, like it would easily fit into the rest of my house. You know what I mean? Like a really good forever piece. What's up you guys? So today is kind of a catch up day for me. Um, the next few days are going to be really chaotic and busy so i just kind of took today for myself to kind of clean out boxes that are piling up everywhere um do some laundry wash my hair i did a little fake tan it looks really scary i promise it's actually not that scary and then my stepdad is coming over tonight and he is going to hang some lighting fixtures for us we're swapping out the chandelier in our dining room area it's just like the basic standard one that comes with the home and i found one on wayfair that looked really cute so fingers crossed it is cute because i haven't opened the box yet um and then i also got two pendant lights for above the kitchen island those are really cute. They're like the globe kinds, like minimal, nothing crazy. We are also hanging one ceiling fan. We've only bought one ceiling fan so far. We need to get the rest for the rest of the house. Um, but we're finally hanging that one ceiling fan in our bedroom because it gets sweaty at night. So that is the priority. Um, and then I'm also going to try to bamboozle him into mounting my new squiggle mirror that I showed you because I want to have that up. I'm really excited about it. Today is kind of exciting, kind of chill. Um, I think I'm actually about to go to Starbucks and get a matcha right now because I am craving it. <laughs> Um, wait, also, I forgot to tell you guys, I ordered the dresser last night, so it will not be here this week, so I won't be able to show you until the next vlog after this one, because it gets here Saturday, like the 13th or whatever. I'm very excited, but I'm also very nervous, because we didn't get to see the whole thing, you know, so it's like, what if it comes, and I'm like, mm, I hate it. I think it'll be fine, though, because then I can finally finish this room up. But whenever I make like a big purchase like that, I get anxiety. I get very nervous about it. I'm like, is this the right choice? Um, so I am nervous, but I know it'll be cute and whatever. It's a dresser, like get over it. Let's move on. All right, the kids are packed up and ready to go. Okay, hello, I had to park to situate myself, but I got a Venti, but she rang it in as a grande. So I paid for a grande, so it's fine. But I'm so sad because I normally get 
venti's in the matcha and chai's because i drink them so fast but i got that tiktok drink again and the barista was so not happy with me so i like pulled in and ordered and she was so sweet she was like hey like what can i get you on this fine day how are you blah blah, blah. and then i order and she was like oh is this from tiktok and i was like i did see it on tiktok i'm sorry and she was like pull up <laughs> Uh, this is that TikTok drink that I did a video on on TikTok and reels and everything um, It's very good. It's called like the moon drink or whatever on TikTok But it's literally just matcha with chai and it's tasty the kids also got some puppy whips It's gotten to the point where I'm like hey you want to go to Starbucks and they know and Aspen Especially like as soon as I get to the like pickup window in the drive-thru she like inserts herself she makes it known that she's there so everyone's like oh she's so cute does she want a puppy whip she knows she knows what she does i just got a amazon package at this point i kind of forgot what i ordered okay i think oh these are the glass straws that i ordered i got rid of a bunch of my silicone straws when we moved here I don't like them. Like, I feel like they get gross, the, like the silicone ones. Like, the texture's weird. So, I got all glass straws. It's just one of those sets. Amazon has, you know, a million. Okay, less exciting. I got these little <laughs> trash bags for our um, bathroom trash cans because I showed you guys from my little Target haul in the last vlog. I think it was the moving vlog. I got new trash cans and trash cans are so expensive so I didn't want to mess them up make them dirty but these are cool because they are um, compostable so that's good and then this I'm not sure what this is ah uh, it's cute okay so I have like these little containers from Hobby Lobby I think they're vases that I've been using for my brushes, but I just wanted something else. I found this little uh, clear glass one with like the gold accents, and then I can organize them by like, you know, contour brushes, eyeshadow brushes, powder brushes, etc. So this is cute. This is gonna go on top of my vanity. Okay, we got our pendant lights. Very cute, getting them installed. I didn't know that they did not come with the light bulbs, so we are going to do that maybe today. Maybe not. Alright, we got our pendant lights installed. They look amazing. These little light bulbs in here are temporary. We just wanted to make sure the light worked. So we're probably gonna go to Home Depot today um, and get like some Edison bulbs. And then here is the dining room light. I love how it looks. Again, um, we gotta swap the light bulbs. They're just there to make sure that everything worked okay. But how cute is this little fixture? And then the last thing we got installed, kind of hard to see, coming off a little bit weird on camera, is our little ceiling fan. I just took my hair out of the bun, and when I put it in the bun, my hair was still wet, so it's crazy. Um, but I'm so happy with how everything looks. That ceiling fan that we have in there is going to be the same one that we put in the living room and the loft and then hugo also wants it in his room as well his office space so they have a larger one i think that it has another um what do i want to call it a wing like another panel on the fan um i think ours is like 52 inches i think um and then the larger one ha it's like 60. So we're probably going to put the larger one in the loft because the loft is so open i think that it'll look a little bit nicer and then just keep that same size throughout the rest of the rooms i am still scouting for lights for my makeup room and the other side of the loft my office part um i really kind of want like a statement light in my office like one of those bubble ones i don't know how to explain it those like bubble pendant lightings so i'm on a search i also did not get my mirror hung today because i did not tell him that I wanted it hung today, so he didn't have any of the anchors. Wow, look how cute these little clouds are. All right. We, I, to, we also have to get the mail. 
Yes, I, I have, I turned on the informed mail thing, so now I like see all the mail that we get via photograph, which is kind of cool. Wait, how did you do that? I, when I was doing my forwarding address, it like had me set up a thing. Now I get pictures of all the mail that we get. Not all of it, but like some of them. It's kind of cool. That is cool. We got our light bulbs. Um, they are more expensive than I thought, and it's not even that they were expensive, really. They were like four and seven dollars, but it adds up, you know what I mean? They were like eight dollars. Okay, yeah, true. Eight dollars a bulb. Yeah, and like some, those were like the cheaper ones. <sighs> some of the other ones we saw were like 15. So we got these little ones, obviously they're not in. Oh, it's so hard to tell on the camera. Um, they're really yellow in person. They look nice on camera, right? Oh yeah, I love them on camera. Okay, so my concern with these at first was that they are just too yellow, but I I don't hate it. Like, you can kind of tell in the camera now, but I don't know. I don't hate it, really. What do you think? I think it looks better with all of them on. The candlelight dinner. Yeah, I like it. Okay, and then same thing over here. They're kind of like a yellowy glow. Um, can you turn our, like, regular Reese's cans on? Thank you. See how that's like really bright in your face and you can see like that's more blue than that. Um, but I don't hate it because it's not like we're going to have these lights on during the day. I feel like it's nice for like a nighttime mood lighting almost. It's like softer, but I don't know. Hello, you guys. Good morning. We are driving to San Antonio. I keep calling it a road trip. It's really like an hour and a half away. I'm pretending it's a road trip. Am I like really weird looking? You're a little pink. Just in the lighting, you don't look pink. Oh, okay. In the camera, you look pink, though. Well. You would tell me if I was pink in person. Yeah. I have like a weird line. Yeah, I would have been calling you Patrick. Oh, maybe I'm ugly today. No, you're not. You're just <laughs> pink on camera. That's scary. I think it's just the lighting. Okay. There's a weird, I don't know, whatever. Anyways, we're going to San Antonio. Please look at how cute my purse is. So cute, I'm so excited. It's my first time wearing it out. Congratulations. We are, of course, at Starbucks. Starbucks. Starbs. Starbaroonies. Starbucks. Starbarinos. <laughs> Why was that all of Boba's nicknames in one? For Boba, we call him like 75 things. We call him Bobarino, Bobarama, Bobalicious. What else? <laughs> what? We call him Boberson. Boberson and Spinerson. Aspen, we make her name Speen. So any nickname she has, it starts with Speen. Sometimes you guys are like, who the hell is Speen? What is that? Are you saying Spleen? Speen. Aspen. I call her Speenies mostly. Um, anyways, they have really weird nicknames. I don't know where Bob. that came from. Well, Boba is also Bob. Short for yeah. Bob. Bobbert, you know, for his formal name. So, yeah. Anyways, we're going to San Antonio to go to the West Elm outlet, the RH outlet, the Gucci outlet, possibly. Gucci outlet is not my priority. I do want these slides that I saw on their website for summer. Um, for Jesus, it sounded like the Starbucks lady was in our car. I want these pink slides. I think they're cute. I don't, I don't want anything from Gucci. You do. Yeah. I own some uh, shoes. He's very proud of them. Um, so I would like to join the Gucci shoe club, the Gucci slide club, perhaps. Um, so we're gonna see if they're at the outlet. I feel like they're probably not, but we'll scope it out, you know? Um, and then we, the whole point of this trip was actually to go to Ikea for this shelving unit that I want. But there is also this TV stand that we want from Ikea. Um, and I told you guys a million times that I don't want Ikea furniture. I don't. <laughs> I really don't. Um, but we apparently can't stray from this place. It's just, it works out. Huh? We can. I mean, sure, if you want to buy a fucking $700 TV stand instead of like a $200 one, go ahead. I'm just saying, I have spent a lot of money on furniture, so I'm like, maybe Ikea is okay. I have to put it together. Yeah, I do hate that. Well, we could hire a task rabbit. No, that's a waste of money. I mean, whatever. I'll be the task rabbit. You can hire me. No. For my own house. Hire yourself. <laughs> yes, we might be leaving with IKEA furniture. We might not. However, I do want to eat in San Antonio because they have 
great food. Fun fact for you guys that might not know, I feel like the OGs know, Hugh used to live in San Antonio. He went to college in UTSA and we were long distance when I was here in Austin. I was literally in Round Rock um, living with my parents and we were long distance for four years. It was a really long time, but we made it through, didn't we? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now we own a house together. Yeah. What a turn of events for us. I know, right? Um, You're just the girl that was at the school party a lot. <laughs> and now look at us. Look oh. at us. Look at us. <laughs> Who would have thought? Not me. I don't like that. <laughs> Come on. Yay, pretzel. Went to QT and we got some road trippy snacks. Hugo got some breakfast tacos and then we got a Parmesan pretzel to split. And then down here we got a water. This freaking thing. Hugo loves these. I, they're fine, they're fine. Um, the Lucky Charms ones are bomb though. And then these Doritos. This one is pretty solid. How are the tacos? Oh god. Tastes like um, just garlic bread. It's really good. We pulled up to Ikea. Someone took the last one as we got here. So that's fun. We left with nothing. I did almost get this cute little like storage bin thing. I thought it would be a perfect size for my yoga mats. But for some reason it was like $50 and it was just like a wire basket. So, I don't know. I left. <laughs> Hi, guys. We did not have a good time. It was honestly slops all around. West Elm. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't anything that we were looking for, you know what I mean? Um, I did find a mirror that I liked that was really cute, but I didn't end up getting it because I have nowhere to put it. And on a mirror kick lately. Um, they had like some cute couches and stuff, but we're not looking to buy a couch right now anyways. Um, what else? RH, terrible. It was not like, I don't know, it was not what we were anticipating and restoration hardware is so expensive anyways that like the outlet version of it it's like it's, it's still insane we also tried pottery barn and william sonoma it was just not good it was not a good time um some of the things we did we tried to go to gucci they did not have the slides that i wanted i didn't think they would but they didn't have anything at all either i felt like the store was empty gucci yeah, yeah there was like nothing in there the employees like, were rude they were really rude. Um, like previous times that we've gone there, they usually have like pretty good stuff. Then we also waited in line for Prada for like two hours. It was absurd and a mistake on our behalf because we did not find anything. Um, I had an anxiety attack in line. It was just, it was not good. I wish that I vlogged the bag that I did find, um, but they only let like two, three people in the store at a time, so I felt weird pulling out my camera, you know, it's kind of weird. Um, but they had this really cute bag, it was like the studded one, I don't even know what it's called. Um, it was really cute, but it wasn't my vibe, like I know that I wouldn't wear it often, and if I'm going to spend that much on a bag, I should wear it a lot. So it was flops all around, um, we are leaving empty handed, which is always a bummer. We're getting some tacos right now and then chilling at home. So we came home, we ate all our tacos. We're watching Trish and Ethan. Thank you so much for hanging out with us this week, even though it was a little chaotic. Excited for next week. See you later. Bye.